again, it's Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast. We're talking to Auburn football. Go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to Vernon Speak Sports Auburn. Uh, click the bell twice. I also have uh, some footage on my Vernon Speak Sports Auburn Facebook page. Probably need to get a little bit more active with Instagram and Twitter. I just hate using that stuff. I mean, that's that's the reason why I haven't really been on there like that. But as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger war eagle now I, i've been talking about chad morris here for the past couple of videos as a matter of fact i did an interview with devin dawson uh, founder of all about auburn sports page on facebook and we talked about the offense we talked about what uh, we think will be different the players are ranting and raving and the main thing that just keeps coming up is the intermediate routes now for most of y'all that, that don't know the intermediate routes are those anywhere from about 10 to maybe stretching it out to about 18 yards from the line of scrimmage those are the routes that we're talking about and those are routes that Auburn really did not take advantage of Uh, most of the routes that you saw Auburn run run were usually pretty deep routes usually 15 to 18 yards at the cutting point and a lot of times one the offensive line couldn't hold long enough to allow the quarterback to actually make a pass like that. And two, it's just not fooling anybody. A team that you could really look at that really, really, really perfected the intermediate routes, those dig routes, those comeback routes, and those, uh, you know, those checkpoints as far as routes goes, it was LSU. You know, they did a really good job of hitting the hot routes. I think those guys probably spent a good majority of practice finding hot routes on the football field. And really, if you think about teams like uh, Clemson, Georgia, teams that they really exploited is because they didn't have, those teams didn't have the linebackers to cover these particular routes. So they will find hot routes within the lack of speed, within the lack of range of these li- these linebackers slash safeties who are concentrating on other areas of the football field. That's why they were kind of exposed when it came to LSU and what they were able to do. They, they it was always a hot route. I mean, you, it was always a hot route. You you look at man, that guy was wide the f open. You know what I'm saying? And then it was just so hard to stop because you also had Clyde Edwards Elair at running back who kept defenses off balance because you always had to account for him. That's why he was a number one, uh, not a number one draft pick, but that's why he was picked in the first round of the NFL draft. He, now, you take away Clyde was Elair. I'm not saying this offense still wouldn't go, but you got to have some level of a threat running game-wise, and that's something that he really hurt, uh, hurt other opposing teams with. So when we look at Chad Morris coming into this season, we're looking for some more diversification in the passing game. Um, we really, really think that Chad Morris, especially with his history, with Taj Boyd, he recruited Deshaun Watson, and he utilizes the tight tight end as did LSU did. I'm not I'm not advocating that this is going to be an uh, offense similar to the LSU offense, but. Is it can be because I think Auburn has done a great job recruiting wide receivers and also have done a great job of solidifying their running back depth to where they have they're at least about two to three deep as far as SEC caliber talent at the running back position. Also, we tend to want to believe that the offensive line has got to be more effective as a cohesive unit than they were on last year. So that's where the big buzz, you got players to talk about, man, this Chad Morris offense is something serious. Defensive players are raving about it. And I just wanted to bring to the forefront a lot of the reasons why. And it's because people are really excited about those intermediate passing routes, especially when you have guys like Anthony Swartz. You have the oncoming of Kobe Hudson. You also have Seth Williams, from last year and you also have the prospect of running backs coming out of the backfield um, as far as Harold Joyner and guys like those and Tank Bigsby even showed a good ability to catch the football out of the backfield so let me know what you think about this video and this uh, this whole passing route 
deal with the Auburn Tigers. I actually got the idea of, of this video from a subs maybe a subscriber. I don't know. He was a guy that uh, thought enough about us to leave a comment in the comment section. It was actually Lou Brannon that says, Chad will bring what our passing game has been missing, and that's intermediate routes. And I want some of you guys to understand what we're talking about. We're not just talking out of our ass. We're talking about routes that actually get defenses out of position. Kennard Vernon Stewart here for the podcast once again for Auburn football. Like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And as always, it's great to be an Auburn Tiger, War Eagle.